Well, three years ago today, a legend in Utah's automotive industry died from COVID. And Bob Garf was the third person in Utah to die from COVID. He was the Speaker of the House in the legislature years ago. A prolific businessman, philanthropist, father, great guy. Our Eye on Utah looks into how his family is working to keep his legacy alive after COVID. This is Robert Garf's office, but it's now my office, but I just don't want to take his name off, so I don't. You don't have to. That's right. Kathy Garf is the board chair of Ken Garf Automotive Group, like her husband Bob was before he died of COVID three years ago. He was the third person in the state of Utah to pass away. Still, people didn't know what was happening, but it was the beginning of the pandemic. Front lines of COVID-19 in need the rate of, of community spread in Utah. March 2020, a deadly disease spreading around the world. New information about coronavirus every day. More people getting sick. Nobody had a mask. Nobody did anything. And when we were ill, we just said, we need to get home. So we both drove home, got tested. We had COVID. And within a very few days, he was hospitalized and passed away. A devastating blow for the big, fun, driven Garf family. It was really weird. It, uh, when he passed away, uh, she had COVID. We couldn't even go give her a hug. I mean, that was, it was a really hard time for all of us. We didn't know how to deal with it. Grief in quarantine. But like Bob and his father, Ken Garf, who started the company decades ago, the family focused on what good could come from such an overwhelming loss. They couldn't even have a funeral until Kathy could recover. This is exactly what Bob would have wanted. No one is here just except family. family just together. our little family get together. And it was actually very sweet. I think we all learned, the whole community learned so much from COVID. I think we have to take those good things into account. For me personally, um, I think the value of good and warm relationships has really become front and center for a lot of us. Um, Maybe that was one of the things, many things we took for granted. Kathy says the family and the company looked deep into what they like about themselves. And as things got back to normal, they were better people. Our company, our employees started bonding together and they formed a new car, the company called We're Here For You. That community project created a team that combined all departments and new friendships. It's a new part of the Garf family's legacy of opportunity. This is more a legacy of opportunity of Bob Garf. Tomorrow, our focus will be on the importance of education in the legacy of the Garf family. I see keys to success. They've been very involved in Huge. that. There's a wonderful program. And more too. millions into education yeah. across the state. And we'll have that for you tomorrow.